I'm a good old hard rocker, running from the dust here down. I'm a midnight walker, I wonder why it's taking so long. There's a rope off the pass there, and I just jumped on the snow and slid down. And, you know, not really knowing how fast I was going to hit. I mean, I hit absolute top speed, you know. There was an eagle flying and had a baby, like a, a baby deer, and it dropped it on the aid station tent, you know, those little, like, cheese ball white tents, and it dropped it on the tent, and, like, boom. And, and there was a, you know, so kind of crazy. I remember getting to the aid station, they were all, like, a a flutter about it, and then I was too, you know, like you run off and you're like, that's so cool, I would love to see a bird drop a deer. And then after that I just started hallucinating, and on the way down, I mean, uh, I started, I just started talking to a tree. <laughs> and she looked back thinking, who's he talking to? And I was having a conversation with a tree there down near a raster gulch, so. <laughs> I lost my shoe in Bear Creek Ure, when in Bear Creek Ure, uh, the trail was cut into the mountain like like that and maybe five six feet wide in a few places i was what was i doing i was tying i was getting a rock out of my shoe or something and my shoe was off and i almost kicked it off the ledge um it, it was good and i kind of went and i grabbed it and uh and i got it you know what, what would have happened there what would i have done i was seven miles from from each direction of an aid station i would have walked barefoot it's coming down bear trail and there's like a thousand foot drop on the side and I'm trying to lean into the hillside, well, the rock on the right side, so I don't fall off the left side. And, and you're trying to run, and you're trying not to trip on any little rocks and go over the side, so. Just went into the wrong area and took a huge digger, like huge, and just took, you know, landed and sort of took a rock right to my hip and just, I have this huge scar there still, and it's like my hard rock scar, and, that, and there was just blood everywhere. And uh, there was, uh, thunder and lightning everywhere and I wasn't quite sure what to do. We're going over a 14,000 foot peak and I just look ahead, the other competitors just keep going up, keep their head down, so I just followed suit and went right on up and over. And then Bob finished after me, Bob Combs, and he came up to me and it was really late and he said, I, I think I got hit by lightning, Lori. And I said, what do you mean? And he said, uh, he said I got hit and I was blown off the ground, or blown off, you know, blown off my feet, and uh, I came to, and I, I wasn't where I started, and um, he said, I think I rolled down the ridge a little bit, and I was left, I was, I was numb on my left side, and, uh, and I got up and I just started running, and I said, I, I think you should tell Dale, and uh, so then he's been called Sparky ever since. And when I got to the next aid station, this was the first year, and my mom was there, and she was like, oh, my God, you're bleeding, you know? And I was so happy because I was on back on course, you know? She was all freaked out, and I wasn't even bleeding, you know? I just had, I didn't know what to do with the blood on my hands, and so I was, like, wiping it on my legs, and I needed to, like, you know, I was sort of sticky, you know? And so my shirt was the best thing. It was a higher water year, I guess, and I remember I just, you know, sort of jumped to this rock in this river, and totally fell into this pool, you know, up to my neck. And, and like all rivers in, uh, on a the course, they're pretty damn cold. <laughs> and, you know, Ryan, who was right behind me, was really, you know, worried, you know, that I'd, you know, I was, he, he was worried about me before I fell in the river. I fell in the river and I, I just jumped out of the thing, right? And it, I mean, I was like in survival mode. And then the waterfall is about five feet from you and it probably drops 30 to 50 feet, I don't know. And so I was crossing the slick rock and Julie was right behind me and I slipped. And you know, this is three quarters of the way around so you're pretty tired. And she jumped on top of me because she thought I was gonna go over the waterfall. And so I'm totally soaked and she's somewhat soaked. And then, but then I'm thinking, you know, she actually thought I was gonna go over the end and she was gonna help me and, you know, possibly go over with me. <laughs> And uh, Kurt and I got to this one snowfield that we kind of were supposed to, we're going to cross. And uh, there were steps in it, you know, it seemed safe to me. So I kind of started to rally across it and I slipped. And whoosh, down I went probably 200 yards on a, at least a 40 degree slope. It was, I couldn't, I couldn't stop. I was doing this and jumping over rocks. And, and uh, when I came down to the boulders at the bottom, I was sure that I was going to slam into them hard. 
and I remember the people at the aid station were like, be very careful, there's a huge puddle, you have to be very careful, you know, and we had just gone through like a waist deep river. And, I'm like, and there was this like rock section we tried to step across and I slipped and I fell on my back and slid like 10 feet down this rock slope with all this scree and rocks falling all around me and uh, came to a stop and my bottle had like gone off this edge and it was just, it was pretty, it's just one of those points where like, you can't get much lower physically or mentally. I was just like so out of it. I mean, I, I was basically crying. I just wanted to be done and like home and in bed so much. But I always, I always thought hard rock was, uh, was living your entire life in a single day. So you could, you go through every emotional high and low. Well, I certainly had the lowest low of my life last year. <laughs> um, but I think I definitely had the highest high. I mean, finishing that was, I mean, it, it remains like my proudest accomplishment. Uh, you know, and you could compare that to whatever in your life was the emotional high, maybe your wedding day, your graduation or whatever, and then low, you know, getting fired from your job or being really sick or finding out that your loved one has cancer or, or things like that. And you feel all those same emotions all within this experience that they call hard rock. When I get so hot and why I'm always feeling so low.